Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. This is just the perfect makeup look for the events that are going on in this time of the year. I feel like, you know, people are having graduation and prom and baptisms and, you know, weddings and I feel like this is just this time of year where people need a good event makeup look that is super simple and great products that'll last you all day long and I'm just super happy with the way that this makeup look turned out. I'm using a whole bunch of new products that I have purchased during the VIB roof sale. I had a haul where I did use word that I showed you guys um, the products that I purchased but then I ended up going the next weekend and purchasing more so you guys will see this see some of those in this um, makeup look so I hope you guys really enjoyed this makeup look and if you guys want to see how I got it then just keep on watching all right guys so first I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow primer put that all over my face for prom or any kind of occasion and graduation and any kind of event like that I feel like glowy skin and a glowy primer is key I say that in all my videos but I just believe that so now I'm gonna go in my Clinique even better foundation in the shade buff I'm gonna take that on the back of my hand sometimes I don't even know how much to squeeze out of this thing because you know with like a pump you know a pump's a pump but on this is like you squeeze it a little too hard it's like Oops, I did too much. And then it's like wasting product and I hate to waste product like that. So then I'm just gonna pounce that in with my Real Technique sponge. I recently got back into using this sponge and I forgot how much I really like this sponge. I feel like I like all of the sponges, like the Beauty Blender, the uh, Morphe one, and this one. And they're all different in their own ways, but I enjoy all of them. This foundation just has the best coverage the best finish. I really love this foundation so much. I'm gonna go in with, of course, the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm gonna put that right underneath my eyes. This thing goes a long way. I feel like you don't. It's just too excessive if you use, if you use way too much, in my opinion. I just don't like that. It makes my under eyes look cakey and that is a huge pet peeve of mine. This like, you see, it, it's still so much. I feel like I even put way too much. Every time I use a shape tape, I just get happy because I just know it's gonna work. I know it's good. And I'm never nervous to use it. Especially when you have an event, you want something that's bulletproof and it's gonna last. And this is for sure gonna last. I always excessively bounce my skin <laughs> because like I've said in a, bunch of my videos is I think skincare and your face makeup are really what make your makeup look good you know a nice base is so important in my opinion and something that's smooth and beautiful it's super important so I'm gonna go in with something that I just purchased and it is a powder. Lately, I don't know what it is, but I have been going back into powders, maybe because it's getting a little warmer, I don't know, but I've heard a lot of good things about this uh, Peach Perfect powder and I wanted to try it. I picked that up at Sephora. I always, you know, after the sale, you know, during the sale, I'm like, I'm gonna get these few things and then always, always the week after because I watch all this for VIB Rouge, Hauls, I'm like, I need that, I need that, I need that, and I hate it. <sighs> I literally just opened it and I could taste it in my mouth. But that tasted real good, it smells really good, it smells like peaches. Ooh, I'm excited. And I'm gonna go in my beauty blender and I'm just gonna put that underneath of my eyes. Press that in. Oh, I love that. You can tell when a powder is finely milled too. Like you can, even by the look of this, you can just tell. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be my new favorite. I can already tell. Oh yeah. Set my eyes perfectly. Setting your eyes is so important. So important. If you're not gonna set your whole face, like I usually don't, just set your under eyes, it's super important. Especially if you use concealer. I'm gonna go in with my, um, I like that it has a thing like this. Oh my gosh, this makes me so happy because all my other powders drive me nuts. Oh, I keep tasting it. <laughs> oh, I love this. 
feels super nice. It's making me look so smooth. I don't think you will be able to tell on camera, but I can definitely see it in person. I am going on vacation to Florida where it's super hot and humid and you really do need to put your face in a climate like that I feel and this one I feel like it's just gonna be so good I'm so excited to take this with me on vacation and this lid thing will make it so easy but yes I'm very impressed and I'm so glad that I picked that up so next I'm gonna go in with another thing that I recently just purchased this is gonna be like a a haul kind of try on but I know that I like these well it's gonna be kind of like a first impression thing again because I did go out and buy some more stuff after the sale all oh, the next weekend after the sale and I purchased this uh, precisely my brow pencil and I have the I don't even know what it's called but I have the thicker version of this the one the definer kind of looking one and I love it but I wanted a more precise one because I do have smaller eyebrows and thinner hair on my eyebrows so I feel like a thicker eye pencil was kind of difficult for me because I don't really need to just fill I need to shape as well so I picked this one up and I'm super excited to try it but I'm gonna I don't know if do you I'm gonna just do it on camera I know some people are like overseeing how brows are done I need a smaller mirror but this is like a first impression for this product so I wanted to see oh this is so nice I picked up the Anastasia Brow Wiz and I had to return it. I hated it. I used to love that brow pencil, but I had to push so hard against my skin in order to get any pigment. And I was like, no way, There, this has got to be a dud. Like, I remember this being so good. And then I went to Sephora and I tried the tester and the tester was the same way. I was so bummed. I was like, that is disappointing. And wow, my brow looks amazing. This is so good. I like the formula of these Benefit pencils because it's super creamy, almost like a pomade. And I really enjoyed that. New brow obsession. My eyebrows look on point. Very natural. Like you see it in person, it's very natural because I did like hair like strokes in the front. That's the way to do it. Never just box it off. Never. Please, just don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my MAC Paint Early Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And I'm going to sit or prime my eyelids just for this eye look we're doing today. So eyes are set. Now I'm going to go in with another first impression. And it is this Soft Glam Palette. I think you guys saw this in my um, Sephora VIB Rouge Sale Haul. I am very excited to try this. They, this color scheme is stunning. I feel like for any, you know, any occasion, this eyeshadow palette is just phenomenal and I'm just in love with these colors. And I'm gonna go in with, I think I'm gonna go into another palette though. My Man Eater palette, which is my ride or die. You guys already know. I'm gonna use the color Meow to set my whole eyelid because I think in that soft glam palette there isn't really a color that I can set my paint pot with. Okay so now that my eyes are set I'm gonna start off with going in with this burnt orange color and I'm gonna put that right in my crease using my MAC 224 brush and just blend that in. The color payoff is amazing like with every Anastasia palette. These kinds of tones for my eyes and my skin tone are my favorite. Favorite favorite. Okay so now that I put that burnt orange color in my crease I'm gonna go in and add the orange soda color right above that just so we can bring out this pretty orange color. And I'm barely putting any pressure when I'm tapping my brush into these colors. So that color is done. Now I'm gonna go in with the color Sienna into this, it's like a rusty color. And I'm gonna put that a little farther down on my lid 
and then blending it in the crease. Now that my base for like my crease and stuff are on, I'm going to go in with this rose pink color. I am super obsessed with this color and I'm not going to lo- wow. That brush. I'm not going to lie, this is one of the main reasons why I wanted this palette was for this color specifically. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid, just like that. Oh my god. You feel like, like in camera, it doesn't even do it justice. How beautiful this color is, and you don't even need to spray your brush with like a Fix Plus or anything because it's so pigmented. I'm going to go in with this mulberry color, and I'm going to put that all in the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to go back in with this brush and I'm going to use this fairy color down here and I'm going to put that right in here. Just a little bit to brighten that up. I'm going to take my 224 again and I'm going to go in with orange soda again and I'm just going to put that above here just to filter any harsh lines. Just like that. Now I'm going to use this um, tempera color up here. I'm going to put that right underneath of the brow bone. And I remember in the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, this is the first color that went for me, was this tempera color. I used the heck out of that color. I have to, with any makeup look, put something underneath my brow bone or else it's just doesn't look good. I don't have a good makeup day. <laughs> okay, so I put on my eyeliner and my mascara. Now I'm going to go in with a new pair of lashes by Kiss. It's the Lash Couture Foaming Collection. And I've tried a few of them and I really enjoy this eyelash. And um, this one is in the one, um, not the shade, <laughs> in the style of Bador. And I think they're super beautiful and wispy. They're a little short in the front for my liking. But we'll see. We'll see if they blend well with my eyelashes. Okay, so my eyelashes are on. Other than um, the band being really thick and kind of hard to work with, I really love the style of eyelash. I feel like, oh, I feel like they're coming up a little bit because of this band. It's super thick. You ever feel like you have eyelashes that you need to work them in a little bit? This would be one of those. <laughs> now we're going to go on to the face. So I'm going to use another product that I had recently just bought and it is this Laura Mercier baked bronzing blush and baked bronzer I don't know what I'm talking about but um I just love this uh, bronzer it is the best and I cannot go wrong with it so I'm gonna use this Morphe M530 brush to contour a little bit with this bronzer and I'm gonna use that it's a brand new brush so see what I think about it honestly this bronzer is blending beautifully I think on top of this powder it's like making it so so easy to blend I love that about that's what I also like about wearing a powder sometimes is your bronzers and stuff like that are definitely going to go on more seamless and blend really well depending on the on the powder of course but yeah i think this is i just i love this bronzer it just gave some warmth to the face you can tell this is a definite winner y'all need to pick this up so as always i'm gonna go in with my bobby brown blush in pretty pink and i'm gonna put that on the apples of my cheeks just a little bit Soup it up a little more than usual. Now I'm going to go in the highlighter. I used this in my last video. And I just forgot how much I love the Becca uh, highlighters. And I used Champagne Pop. And I used to only use Champagne Pop. That was my first highlighter I ever bought. And I forgot how much I loved it. So I'm going to put that. It's just... I feel like this time of the year, summertime, is a time to wear it. I don't know about winter so much because I'm 
I don't know about y'all, but I'm super pale in the winter, and I just think that this color is to die for. I love it so much. Whatever I have on my face right now is my favorite combination of anything that I've ever had on my face. I'm not even lying. The Clinique foundation is amazing, and I think paired with this Peach Perfect powder is just making everything just, you can see. Just will look amazing. Oh my gosh, and I love this eyeshadow palette. I'm just so happy with how this look is turning out. I am so glad. So, so glad. So now, of course, onto the lips. I'm going to use my MAC World Lip Liner, and I'm going to just line my lips. And I'm going to use this uh, Casey Holmes and Palladio collab in the color Rescue. I love this formula. I've worn it a few times and I just think this color is amazing. The formula is amazing and I really like this applicator. So I'm going to put that on. It's literally the color of the MAC World Lip Liner. And okay, so the lip is on. I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus to set the face. And I'm going to go in my Beauty Blender and pat that all in so it's all nice and melted into your skin. Melt the powders together, everything just melted together. And there you have it. So this makeup look I just think is just perfect for any of the events that you guys have going on during this time of year. There's always so many things going on and I just hope you guys really enjoy it. I know that this is going to be my new makeup foundation routine and I'm gonna just use the heck out of the eyeshadow palette and I'm really loving these eyelashes. I just, I love when makeup looks turn out well so that, you know, it's just good for you guys, I'm sure, to see and you guys can see the new products that I've tried and you can see what you want to uh, pick up, but I highly, highly recommend picking up this powder. I, you know, I'm not a powder gal, but this powder, I'm a, I'm a powder gal because of this powder, <laughs> but yeah, I just think everything that I've used, I highly recommend and I'm sure, you know, it's going to be... I feel like this will last me all day long. This foundation does claim that it is a long wearing foundation. So I just, you know, I'm just super happy with how this look turned out. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.